Sobat Unikma, ketemu lagi dengan saya Dwi Rosita Jadi uh, simple dipanggil aja Rosita begitu ya uh, Siang ini kita ketemu lagi dan kedatangan lagi tamu spesial Yang beliau berdua datang dari uh, Neus, Filipina uh, Beliau berdua merupakan dosen pertukaran ya atau uh, partisipan dari pertukaran dosen yang uh, kali ini bertempat di Fakultas Hukum ya di Universitas PGN Madiun dan beliau berdua juga berasal dari Fakultas Hukum dari Neus Filipina. Baik, uh, langsung saja saya sapa beliau berdua. So, good afternoon. Firstly, we have Ma'am Christina and good then good afternoon, Ma'am. And then the second one we have Ma'am Shirley. So Ma'am Shirley, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ma'am. Yeah, firstly I'd like to say welcome to podcast Unipma and also welcome to our lovely campus <laughs> Unipma in uh, Madiun, Indonesia. So um, today we are uh, discussing about the mobility program between uh, News Filipina <laughs> and also Unipma, Indonesia. Then, firstly, before coming further, I'd like to begin with your CV. So, uh, teman-teman, sebelum lebih lanjut, saya masuk ke percakapan kita dengan beliau yang pastinya cukup menarik. Jadi, Sobat Unipa, jangan kemana-mana. Uh, saya akan lanjutkan pertama dengan CV beliau berdua. Jadi, yang pertama ada Miss Christina. So, Miss Christina uh, having the academic degrees as PhD in criminal justice with specializations in criminology and uh, in master is also in criminal justice and then uh, the professional experiences uh, she is the dean of college of criminology starting 2018 to the present years and uh, she is the officers of professional criminology associations in the Philippines or it is called as PCAP, right ma'am, in region 3. So this is about Miss Christina, beliau berasal dari uh, College of Criminology, uh, dari Neus Filipina, kemudian uh, yang kedua adalah Dr. Shirley. So Dr. Shirley, I'd like to little bit deliver your CV first. So. Um, here we have Ma'am Shirley, right Ma'am? Yes Ma'am. Okay, Ma'am Shirley here is the also PhD in Criminal Justice with specializations in Criminology. So, uh, dua-duanya beliau adalah ahli Criminology, begitu ya. And then, um, the professional experiences, uh, Ma'am Shirley is the Associate Professor 1 in uh, news, uh, which is former instructor or she is the former instructor in Polytechnic College of La Union College of Criminology and currently she is working in news also in College of Criminology. So welcome to Nima Ma'am once again. Uh, today we have some hot topics <laughs> to be discussed, especially in the terms of um, the process of exchange program during uh, two weeks, yes, yeah, yes. two weeks exchange program in uh, UNIPMA, yes, especially what, what happened when you come into UNIPMA and how this program will run later, maybe we can also deliver some of our lectures to yours uh, in news in faculty of uh, college of uh, criminology so teman-teman sobat unikma uh, saya informasikan sedikit bahwa beliau berdua ini adalah uh, dosen yang uh, mengikuti pertukaran di kita ada di fakultas hukum jadi beliau uh, ahli-ahli kriminologi yang memang sekarang ini uh, uh, sedang melakukan uh, visiting lecture ya begitu sebutannya atau guest lecturer di Fakultas Hukum kemudian beliau sendiri juga berasal dari College of Criminology di Neus Filipina baik uh, lebih lanjut saya akan menanyakan beberapa hal terkait dengan pengalaman beliau berdua ketika dan selama di Indonesia seperti itu so ma'am <laughs> coming to 
and nervous conditions. <laughs> <laughs> so let's release it. Let's uh, make it relax. First, yes, uh, I have a first question. So what is your intention or what is your feeling while you are coming to Indonesia, especially UNIFMA? Maybe um, Christina? Well, uh, personally, when we had planned to attend the visiting lecture and exchange faculty exchange program with the uh, UNIPMA, I did not give myself any expectation. <laughs> I just wanted to go there and experience it day-to-day -day basis. So okay. basically, I came here with a bit of and easy feelings because if it is my f it is my first time going abroad, oh, really? so basically, yeah. uh, but then again, I made it a, a point that I will not give myself much of an expectation. Right. But upon arrival at Inipma, I felt the warmth yeah. of the community, Thank the you. people who greeted us and welcomed Thank us. You, and by the time that we were, went around the city. We also, I also personally felt the city itself is a very warm city. Thank you. So it was a nice feeling. It is a very humbling experience, and we are looking forward for the remaining days that we are here right. for more experiences and cultural exchange and learnings, and Thank of you. course for the uh, improvement of the of myself as a person in my in viewing the world in general. Okay, thank you ma'am. How about ma'am Shirley? Maybe something to share with <laughs> us today? Yes ma'am. Uh, actually yeah. ma'am, it's almost the same with uh, my dean. When uh, our uh, communications were approved, I actually started uh, looking at the internet, uh, searching for <laughs> what is an Indonesia, looking, yeah. watching in YouTube. But uh, uh, first and foremost, we search what are the common laws so that right. <laughs> but when uh, we arrive especially in Unipma it's almost the same uh, yeah. there's just, there are a lot of similarities in the languages and everything and they said that uh, Filipinos are hospitality we find it uh, more hospitality uh. in the nations <laughs> we as if we never left home we yeah. are being taken good care very much of uh, the UNIPMA and we are so grateful for that. Thank you so much Ma'am Christina and also Ma'am Shirley. So regarding to your answer, maybe I could send another question like, so what is the difference or what, what make it distinctions between what you have already learned in a YouTube and <laughs> also the reality after you come to UNIPMA? Maybe, oh, before you know that uh, in YouTube Indonesia it's like this one, but then Later we go to Indonesia and some will be the same and also different. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Actually, ma'am, as the dean have uh, uh, mentioned in her speech, it, yeah. uh, it is very much the different in YouTube. YouTube can never <laughs> replace the experience that we had uh, when we when we are here. Yeah, sure, yes, sure. Ma Maybe, ma'am, Christina, <laughs> do you have some other experiences? Uh, not short of something that is nice. Yeah. Everything, everything is nice. The people are good. The environment is the same. The uh, weather. Yeah. Uh, if I may say, I think it is hotter there in the Philippines right now. Oh, That's why I felt yeah. like I felt a bit lucky that we are here uh, yeah, because man. this is the time we're in. They are experiencing really very hot index around 47, 40, 45 degrees. Really? Nice. Oh yeah. Maybe today we only have like. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's why indeed. when they're asking us, they're telling us that it's hot. No, we're okay, we're fine because it's hotter <laughs> there right now. Yeah, 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 <laughs> so. yeah. So maybe this is just some of the advantages are beneficial while you are going to Indonesia. It's a blessing in disguise oh, yeah. that we are here today. Oh, right yeah. now. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much for making it clear about the weather. Maybe outside of the weather. Do you have any problems, any challenges of the food, or maybe oh. uh, the characteristics of the people? 
Um, I guess when it comes to the characteristic of the people, we do understand that somehow people are afraid to engage with us because of the language barrier. Right. So it's not something that is negative because right. we do understand. Yeah. So if uh, we feel that the person is not willing to talk, we do not take it against them. Yes. It, we understand that it's because it's hard really to communicate when you cannot meet. Yeah. Uh, so it's we just have to look for something else or someone who can help us to communicate better with the uh, community. And when it comes to the food, of course, I I personally do not eat much of the spicy food. Ah, uh, really? <laughs> but yeah. then again, I am trying. <laughs> Thank you so much. I just for have that. to be warned if it's extra extra hot, then uh, yeah, no well. please. But if it's just a little, little bit spicy, bit spicy that <laughs> yeah. I can always try. So when yeah. it comes to food, we're getting by and we are getting used to it yeah. compared to the first time that we arrived. So we were just, of course, we ha we, we see the food and it's like right. unfamiliar food. Yeah, man. But I do believe that the people will not feed us something that will kill us. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I always have to, yes, I can try that. I will okay, always try well. Just yeah. the spicy food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how about Mom Shirley? Do you have any oh. problem with the spicy one? Because uh, maybe for your information, start all the Indonesians love spicy. Mm -hmm. We love chili. We yes, love pepper. We love the spicy one. Uh, maybe do you have s unforgettable moment with oh, the? Yeah. <laughs> we say sambal. Yes, we say sambal or yes, spicy yes, one. Yeah. Actually, Mom, uh, our. Uh, co-faculty members who already uh, went here they yeah. warned us about the spicy ah. food and yeah. uh, I was thinking oh I might get uh, weight loss I might uh, lose some <laughs> weight in uh, Indonesia because I don't eat uh, spicy but spicy. when I came here there are a lot of food and right. my problem now is I always get full stomach <laughs> <laughs> so there's no challenge actually the food thank is good you. thank food you so good. much ma'am so there is no problem with no the problem. food thank you thank you <laughs> How about the, maybe do you feel some differences between the um, atmosphere of this school or college, man? Maybe you see that, or here you see some students and there you see your students. Um, it could be in the classroom cases while you have the visiting lecture or yeah, the, the feeling of what, what, what make it different. Uh, based on my experience, because I I was not able to observe a lot of classes, yeah. But uh, during our uh, lecture series, yeah. So it's almost the same in the Philippines. Like uh, when you are asking question and they're just looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. and of course, that again is something that we have yeah. to understand because uh, we were warned earlier right. about how uh, our students here are not much of are not much inclined yeah. into speaking English. That's why it was right. uh, I know it was a lack on my part. Uh, yeah. I was not able to translate my PowerPoint presentation <laughs> in Bahasa. That's uh, why yeah, when I was delivering my lecture I was going halfway and then I realized I don't know if they understood me at all. Okay. But then again I tried to ask questions so yeah. that at least I can so far I can meet them half halfway. And yes. then I made them write on a paper uh, Anything that I they see. would like to say about the lecture, about us, about what uh, they This is a kind about. of reflection? Yes, yeah. I have it with me. I will bring uh, it home and I will read them again. Okay, and again. <laughs> thank you so much, Ma'am Christina. Yes, Ma'am Ma Shirley, any ideas <laughs> about this one? Uh, yes, Ma'am. Uh, actually, with my experience also during yeah. the series of lecture, I was just amazed that, uh, of course, the classrooms were uh, smart. Uh, right. Using now the smart uh, yeah. technology in right, uh, delivering of lecture, yeah. that was so nice, mom. And yeah. then uh, uh, when I delivered the lecture, we were asked to remove our shoes uh, in going uh, yeah. in, and I also respect that, mom, because I know that 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 is part of the culture, and yeah. we appreciate it much, mom, okay. because we do not do that in the Philippines. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you so, you so much, ma'am. Yeah, we have some room that yeah we should lab the shoes outside. Yeah. yeah, that's a kind of um, a special for laboratory because we want to maintain the uh, cleanness of the classroom. Yeah, yes, that's thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. I, mean, I would like yeah. to note that 
the things that we are saying is not something that we do not take it against the university. Yes, it's just that we just want to point out the differences yes. of the culture yes. and it's nice that yes. we are here, we are personally experiencing them and eventually right. we can uh, tell it to our students back in the Philippines. Okay, thank you ma'am. So regarding to the culture immersion or so intercultural communications, do you have any special challenge uh, toward the cultures? Maybe our cultures is hard to understand or maybe you have some cultures which is similar or uh, yeah, maybe you have some ideas ma'am? Yeah. Apart from the the basic knowledge yeah. about the culture of right. this community. Uh, there are a lot of things that we are finding it similar. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like when it comes to the family orientation, uh, yeah. I mean, the involvement of the family, right, the right, close right. ties right. between family among family members that is very strong in the Philippines as well. Uh, and of yeah. course the hospitality right. and the love for music. I realized Ooh. that <laughs> for the long time, I thought the Philippines is the capital karaoke. <laughs> but then again, when we went to it rode the, yeah. by yeah. the bus, oh, yeah. and they have literally karaoke inside the bus, oh, really and the, the yeah. students are singing and singing, and then, oh, so we're the same. Yeah, we're yeah, music yeah. lovers as well. Yeah, 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 and yeah, maybe yeah. that's because that's the reason why there is it is not impossible for us to collab ah, because really? yeah. basically there are a lot of similarities okay. less the language barrier there are other ways it's not uh, we cannot let the language stop up stop us yeah. from doing this collaboration we, there are ways if we want it there are ways Thank we you, find ways we, 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 there is, if there is a way there is a way there is a There's way, a way. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yes, thank you yeah that's similar to that point so the next question, ma'am, um, because you are coming from the College of Criminology, yes. so this one is a very short time to deliver the distinctions of the similarities, but then what is your expectations toward Indonesia? Like, uh, next we will go to some places which is related to criminology point of view, then what do you want to know or what do you want to... Uh, learn more about this kind of point ah, okay so part of our agenda actually right. is to visit the police station yeah and of course the correctional institution and we call yeah. it the pen penitentiaries yeah the prison yeah prisons, because yeah. in our study of criminology we also uh, we actually study crimes and punishment oh, I see. how you treat criminals like yeah. where that is where the correctional institution comes in uh -huh. and then we study law for yeah. the law enforcement yeah so basically the uh, the study of criminology is more on the study of crimes and criminals implementation of laws and how we are going to correct criminals yeah, okay. so yes. our students our graduate of criminology are where their path their path their yeah. career path is more on law enforcement and public service uh -huh, so I they see. can go to the police service yes. the fire department uh -huh. the correctional institutions right. airport police maritime mm -hmm. police yes, so that is the uh, part we're in on the part of the faculty of law of onipma yeah. the similar the similarity that we have had is more on the law yeah. So we had collaborations or the guest lectures topic are more on criminal justice system uh, yeah. and we have the juvenile justice system juvenile. To, be yes. part, to be specific yes. because generally we have the same general concept of uh, CJS and the juvenile justice system. It's yes. just that somehow we have a distinction when it comes to our uh, law yeah the specifics of the yeah, law the so the that law. is where we differ but then again when it comes to the general concept it is the same ah, that I is see. where we had our collaboration with the faculty of law uh, um, so you have already had the um, guest lectures of juvenile juvenile so yes ma'am yes, ma is it we're close done. to yes. Indonesia yes ma'am oh yes, ma yes so this this one is such as um, similar chances 
of the law, but we we implemented it the, in a different yeah, way. yeah. In different depends way. on our own constitution. So ah. because we do have different constitution, right? Yeah. Right. Man. So, but then again, the idea of having a justice system, yeah, in any nation is the yeah. same. Ah, I see that because this is this is the system which we use to regulate our community to right. maintain peace and order. Yes, oh so yeah, that is so that's the idea. Yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Maybe um, the next question is: uh, um, <clears throat> If you back to Philippine, what is the most memorable thing that you will share to the Filipino? Maybe you could share here. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot, ma'am. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of things that I would want to share my students. Yeah. It's the fact also that students are very disciplined. Yes. And um, they're the fact that we have the same kind of environment, we have the same struggles in learning, yeah. 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 that somehow it would, it would encourage them also, our students, to continue learning and striving for, right. for the education because uh, I say this uh, in a good way that they are luckier yeah. because our education system allowed them to study English from elementary right. to high school right. and mm -hmm. they just need to use the advancement of technology to further enhance their yes. knowledge regarding yes. the course or the path that they are taking mm -hmm. as to compare the to the students yeah. here yeah. like they are uh, continuous, continuously struggling with the right. English language. Right. Right. So that somehow hampers their progress in education right, somehow. Right. So that is something that I would want them to realize so that they might, they should appreciate the yes. little things that they are, they have already. Right. Not right. to, uh, other than that, siguro, we will be talking about the culture. Uh, yeah, awesome. and so, the experiences, happy experiences, and thank the warm you, people. Yeah, so maybe the question is from uh, for Ma'am Shirley. Um, regarding to the luckiness of English, am I right that in Philippines that English is being the second language? Yes, Ma'am. Uh, yeah, so that's why because we in Indonesia we we are pl we, we placed um, English as the foreign language yeah. so it's quite hard for the students sometimes to force themselves not because um, there is no places to study English but sometimes the um, internal factors to study the English yeah sometimes it's less so that's the problem of the uh, uh, lack of English sometimes so that's the point <laughs> maybe you could share yeah another thing that Oh, uh, here and there are same, or oh, here and there are different. Ma'am Shirley, maybe any ideas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Ma'am Dean has uh, <laughs> uh, narrated it all. But uh, yeah. in addition to what Ma'am Dean has said, it is true that uh, English has been uh, practiced even in kinder. Yeah. The medium of instruction is really English. That's oh, why uh, when see. as they grow, uh, practice is already English has been already been practiced uh -huh. when we have programs uh, anything yes that we do in the school uh, most of the time not yeah. all but most of the time we use English as the medium of uh, language. English as a medium yes. instruction yes, in the classroom in so, the classroom yes, so can I make it detailed map like in Philippines all the books are in English mm. or half um, when it comes to the sciences, yeah. math, science, it's written in English. Oh, uh, we only use textbook in Tagalog when the subject is more on the history, oh, the Filipino it, subject. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But when it comes to the sciences, yeah. they, they use English language in as a medium of instruction and in the books as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, ma'am. So, yes, ma I like to translate a little bit to them so they will understand. Um, jadi Sobat Unima tadi beliau menyampaikan uh, mungkin yang agak sedikit berbeda itu adalah kebiasaan berbahasa Inggris ya. Jadi kalau di Filipina uh, bahasa Inggris itu adalah bahasa kedua sedangkan di kita adalah bahasa asing. Jadi perbedaannya uh, beliau berdua menyampaikan kalau di buku sehari-hari beliau um, uh, menggunakan bahasa Inggris untuk beberapa yang berhubungan dengan sains ya 
uh, sains, kemudian teknologi, kemudian matematik, pada sudi agak sedikit berbeda ketika berbicara tentang sejarah ya sejarah negara dan seterusnya. Itu ya sobat Unipa. Kemudian beberapa hal yang uh, penting yang beliau sampaikan adalah uh, uh, bahwa orang Indonesia itu sangat ramah ya. Jadi ternyata sama seperti orang-orang Filipina seperti di keluarga mereka yang mereka khawatirkan ternyata sama gitu ya. So um, I will come later ma'am about the languages <laughs> because ma'am Shelly has already mentioned that some of our languages are the same. Yes. So maybe you could you could mention one, two, three of Filipino or Tagalog which is the same with our languages. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, actually, we do count counting. Yeah. Sesi, loro, tiga, papat, oh, really? lima, enam, pito, walo. Songo sampulo. It's almost the same, ma'am, in oh, Filipino. Oh, yeah, well. Yes, ma'am. That's cl very close to our Japanese. Yes, ma'am. The Japanese. Ah, oh, yeah. Siji, loro. Ah, oh, yeah, yes, ma'am. Ma oh, that's, that's Especially, the same. Especially, ma'am, the four, of mm -hmm. apat, lima, lima ay, enam, enam yeah. pito, walo. Sampulo. Oh, that's oh, the same, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's very close. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, this is related to Tagalog and Tag the local. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, that's our uh, local dialect. Local dialect. Oh, yeah, we are lucky because we have some. So maybe after, because this is just a few days, so maybe later you still have counting days, then <laughs> meet me again with BIPA class yes, and we ma could make it line which one is the same and also different and also we studied about the cultures and um, the history maybe of Indonesia. So, um, thank you so much ma'am. This is the end of the um, podcast but before that would you please to say something to our friends here in UNIPMA? Maybe some messages or anything you want to say is okay. Please. Okay, please so again, I don't think I have much to say, but yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you very yeah. much from the bottom <laughs> of our you, hearts. I do feel like, I feel like sometimes I say I can live here yeah. if only, but from the bottom of our hearts, thank you very much for the hospitality and for feeling, uh, for keeping us safe, thank your you, feeling, uh, giving us the, the feeling that we are safe and we are with family. Yes, thank you, so much. That's thank you very much. Important. God thank bless you. everyone. Thank you, ma'am. God bless everyone. Ma'am Shelly, maybe you have something to say? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, same as ma'am Dean, I would like to express how grateful we are, especially to the UNIPMA, to the officers, uh, to the Faculty of Law, especially Dean Siska, Ibu yeah. Bintang, Ibu Rose, yeah, thank Ibu you. Uh, Sulis, we yeah. are so grateful, so thankful, and also to the students who uh, accompanied us, Nuri and Dapa. Oh, uh, yeah, thank, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you so much, ma'am. So, ma um, sedikit beliau, sobat, sobat Unima, beliau tadi menyampaikan rasa terima kasih banyak ya. Sebelum mengakhiri podcast ini tadi uh, uh, beliau berdua menyampaikan uh, beliau merasa aman selama tinggal di Unipma kemudian merasa seperti keluarga karena uh, ramah dan beberapa teman yang sudah menyambut seperti itu terima kasih Pak Rektor dan seluruh officer yang bekerja terima kasih banyak um, untuk podcast Unipma kita akhiri sampai uh, detik ini tetapi sebelum itu jangan lupa like comment subscribe kemudian Uh, seperti biasa jangan lupa follow Instagram Unipma di official Unipma Kemudian ada Instagram dari PMB underscore Unipma dot, uh, Kemudian website dari Unipma sendiri Ada uh, uh, website yang official teman-teman bisa ikuti dan bisa uh, DM Dan juga bisa bertanya informasi terkait dengan Unipma Ya seperti itu terima kasih banyak saya Dwi Rusita Sari undur diri wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and bye terima Ayah kasih ma'am Unikma Smart and Competitive